Hey, are you interested in traveling, but you don't know where to start? Well, you're in luck. Today, I'm gonna to start off a video in a mini series on how to travel, some of the terminology and uh, how tips and tricks on how to get started. Today, we're gonna to talk about step number one, the most important part of traveling and getting ready and getting prepared is going to be having yourself a passport. A uh, passport is a government document that's uh, issued by your home country as a form of identification as well as confirmation of your nationality. Passports are ranked on how strong they are based on how easy it is to get a visa. And we'll talk about visas in another video, but your passport is basically your license to travel and leave the borders of your home country. Why do we need a passport when we travel? Well, the passport serves as a form of identification of who you are, as well as showing your nationality where you're from. It's a very important piece of uh, identification for you. Uh, so with that, you wanna make sure to take care of it and make sure it doesn't get wet. Uh, it's not too hot or too cold because there are electronic chips in most passports today um, that will allow you to scan it to have that extra sense of security when you're traveling. In the US, uh, to apply for your passport, uh, I'll put the link down below, but uh, you'll go to the website, you'll gather all the documents that are required, and then you can even, I think, print out the application online, and then you can either mail it in or take it to a local post office or county clerk or clerk's office, uh, or maybe a few other places uh, to get yourself uh, to, to turn it in. Uh, you can find places on the website. It will help you locate where to apply for your passport on the, the website that I'll link down below. Other countries, you will have to do your research and find out uh, how to apply for a passport for your country and what's needed. Most likely, you will need other forms of identification, such as like a birth certificate or driver's license uh, or, you know, any other government um, or non-government even identification. And you will need some pictures uh, to go along with it because your passport does have your picture inside of it. Uh, as of 2024, the American passport starts at $130. Uh, there is a passport card option and the passport card is a valid form of identification but when you're traveling via air you cannot use it uh, you'd only be able to use it for land and sea crossings in mexico canada bermuda and uh, throughout the caribbean uh, and land and sea means like crossing by land into mexico or into canada or by sea which could be in cruise ships or or other types of vessels like that so you want to make sure to uh, take a look at that when you're applying you can get both and have both as an option, just know when to use each one. Not all passports are created equally. There is a ranking system for passports uh, to find out which ones are the most powerful in the world. Uh, and it's ranked based on your ability to enter a country, uh, whether you need a visa, which you'll have to pay for, or an e-visa, also something that you'd have to pay for an additional cost, or if no visa is required or you get a visa on arrival. Um, right now, the American passport has the ranking of eight, one of the, the top eight most uh powerful ranks. I don't know how exactly how that's it, how that's ranked out, but it's grouped together with how powerful your passport is, how many countries you can enter. Uh, you can find that at passportindox.org. I'll also drop a link down below and so you can take a look at your country and see how powerful your passport is. Well, this was the first video of many. I hope that uh, you found this interesting, you've got some type of value out of. If you did, do me a huge favor, hit that like button. If you know anyone who could benefit from a video like this, please subscribe or, or send it to them. If you wanna see more, yeah, subscribe at that point. Um, hit the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. On this channel, I also try to inspire other people to travel and maybe even move abroad if that's something you're interested in. I will bring you tips and tricks as well as interviews from other people who have done it. Uh, and let me know, uh, what country do you want to visit and why down in the comments below. Till the next time we see you, travel safe, live life, and learn a lot. Peace.